Hey everyone, it's Jeff at Adventure Wagon. This video is gonna take you through the assembly of the shore power add-on to the base electrical package for the Sprinter 144. If you haven't watched the base electrical system assembly video yet, you're gonna to want to go back and watch that first. First, let's get into the contents of what's gonna come in this package. First, we've got the Victron IP22 30 amp shore power charge controller with some mounting hardware here. We've got a 40 amp terminal fuse uh, with a positive and negative cable to connect. And this is the uh, shore power breaker assembly. We're gonna get into the actual guts of this when we get into the installation video layer. The tools that you're gonna need for this assembly are a ratchet wrench with a uh, 13 millimeter socket. A deep well socket or a regular socket with a small extension is helpful. You'll need a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver. So for the first step in the assembly, we're gonna start with a Victron IP22 charger. You're gonna need your Phillips head screwdriver and the positive and negative cable. So there's a little cover on the bottom of the uh, charger here. You just kind of grab the lip, pull out a little bit. You can kind of see the detents and the tabs there. Set that aside for now. And it's pretty simple. Um, you'll see where the connections are for these cables and they're labeled positive plus and minus and we're just gonna put the corresponding cables into their homes there. So each cable, like the rest of these kits, um, are labeled. So you'll see positive distribution block on one end with the circular lug, and then Victron IP22 positive on the other end. So it's kind of hard to mess up. Um, so we'll start with the positive, and we're using the end that says Victron IP22 positive. And take your Phillips head, and we're loosening up this anchor uh, on the positive side of the connection here until you can fit the square end of the cable in place and then tighten down the screw. And check the connection. If you pull out firmly and it stays in place, you're good to go. And we're gonna do the same thing with the uh, negative cable. and then just replace the cover. Once your cables are secured in the charger, we're gonna take the whole assembly and mount it on the charger plate inside the frame. So now it's time to mount the IP22 uh, charger to the plate. Um, so you're gonna need your four uh, M4 screws in your 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Just a note here, Loctite is provided, but for the purpose of this uh, install video, we're not using the Loctite. The easiest way to do this is to actually set two of your screws loosely uh, on the plate first, so uh, the two bottom screws. So we're gonna start with these two uh, mounting points at the bottom of the mounting tray, you know, just to the right of the Renogy charger. And again, we're just gonna loosely set two of these, uh, two of these screws to start. The IP22 has these kind of open uh, mounting points at the bottom, so we're just gonna start by uh, inserting those onto the screws on the, on the mounting plate. There we go. Just make sure that they're kind of seated on top of those screws, and then you're gonna come in with the remaining two and put those on top. And then you're gonna go ahead and screw these all the way down tight. All right, now we're gonna make our connections from the IP22 uh, to the positive distribution block and the negative bus bar. So we'll start with the positive. You're gonna need your 40 amp terminal fuse for this. And we're gonna use this post right here on the positive distribution block. So take that nut off. Put the terminal fuse in. Just like that until it's fully seated. And then we're taking this cable over that and putting the nut back on. We're just gonna hand tighten it for now. And then with our negative cable, where it says negative bus bar, we're gonna use the, um, the second connection from the right on the negative bus bar. So once again, take the hardware off of that post, nut and washer. And then this one's gonna slip over that post here and it's gonna kind of you know end up running diagonally 
out to the, uh, to the right. We're gonna thread that on loosely as well. Okay, now it's time to just tidy up our cable routing. If you had already previously installed the base electrical package, you'll have some zip ties down here. So you'll need to get those out of the way, but we're, we provide some extra zip ties in this package um, to replace those with. So one thing to note is uh, your 120 volt plug-in for the IP22 charger. Um, that's gonna route along with the rest of these cables, but you want it kind of uh, towards the back of this little cable bundle, and then it'll come, it'll route out where the rest of these ones are going sort of at the bottom left corner of the, uh, of the charger plate. So you have a bundle of five wires here and you can just take your Christmas tree zip tie here and we're using these two holes and take the Christmas tree end and put it under the cable bundle first and then punch it into your hole. That way you can just take the other end of your zip tie and feed it in to the base Okay, I just went loosely with that first one while I do this other one. So that's it for the assembly of our shore power kit. If you did purchase the inverter package as well, you're gonna want to watch the assembly video for that next before moving on to the installation video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, give us a call or email us at info at adventurewagon.com. Thanks for watching.